Hello, everybody, and this is my first video. And yes, my hair is all messed up. I don't care. So, I do have hermit crabs, and this video is going to be hermit crab care and kind of how you should set up their cage. So, um, well, first of all, I'm going to introduce you to my hermit crab. Okay. Yeah, I'm totally done, actually. So, so, this is Shimmer. Okay, well, that Shimmer. Put her on the phone. Little guy, way you can't even see him. And way back there, this shell is way too big for him. He just changed. I think his name was Oreo. Um, because the original shell kind of looks like a noise. Okay. What you need is if you have two hermitrans, you need four extra shells. So because they do grow, and when they grow, you need shells for them to move into. So I have four shells now. I probably need to get another one at this point in time. Um. So those are just the basics. Oh look, all my hair. Um, you do need a hiding cut. It doesn't have to be this. It's just a piece of paper. Okay. Next. Yeah. But, um, that's so nice. It makes it more natural to their habitat. Here's one of my extra shells. You want the shells to be bigger than the hermit crab when you get them. This is one of their favorite play toys. It's like this little log and you have holes in it and you can climb over it and climb up it and just like it. So This is a lot of them, so I didn't just on it. And I did that. So, I have my sponge and a bowl. So, basically, you need salt water. I have a salt water mix. I got it just from Echo. So, that's my And I was just mixing, I just put it in a water bottle. And it makes it easy to just refill it when it gets dry, which is usually about two days, more than so. And one of the most important things is there's a little food dish. So, oh. so this is the food, and what's this on it? Side, side. And then the other side, you can put fresh fruits like apples, carrots, um, granola. You can also put granola. And um, the food that I used, sweet crab variety bites. And you can just get at Petco or PetSmart and it's natural crab food. And it'll look like they don't eat, but trust me, they do. So don't freak out if you don't think that they're eating. So, basically, my cage is empty, just with the shelves. It is wired on the outside, which isn't bad. It's actually, they love to climb on the wire and they'll like go up and down it. So, it's like a climbing tree itself. And the tip about the fish is that it can be double the size. 
size of your biggest hermit crab. And there you go. Excellent. This. This. This is big. This hand needs to be like two pieces. This should be a camera crab. This is my biggest. And that is a purple pincher. The pincher is purple, actually. And she is a medium to large. Oh, hello, guys. Now you can see him. This is a purple pincher, too. This is the small to medium. That's why he is so small. Okay. Basically, I'm just going to... So it's different for different shells. I have this type of shell. We want to hold the sand. So, but if you have a shell like this, you want to hold it just like this. Okay. So. How to just do like a brief cleaning of your cage? So, I'm gonna have them under here so it looks like extra sand. There's extra sand back there. That gets out just fine. So, so you can get this little kind of like a peepee. -pee. And also a little extra. Extra food. Um, Thank you. 